Hi, I'm Neil. I'm the Chelmsford Maintenance Manager for Audi, one of the distribution centres here. One of the things that we've had a problem with over recent months, like every business, is actually focusing really hard on trying to reduce costs. The big focus for us was our external forklift fleet were diesel powered. Great trucks from another manufacturer, but we did find that they were really struggling in durability. We we're getting a lot of downtime. The diesel cost has obviously gone through the roof recently, so we had to look at other options. The pallet operation here, like all of our distribution centres, this one's a very busy one and 24 7 operation so it's very challenging to try and work out what sort of truck we can go with so we did try and branch out and trial a ep lithium iron truck I was quite astonished at how well it performed in the week trial that we had we did put it through its paces because again it's a big move for us to move away from the standard diesel trucks that we're always used to but yeah in the end we went ahead we've actually worked out that over five years um, we're going to over half our operational costs down to using lithium iron trucks with other things have come into play as well, like lead time on the manufacturer of the trucks is far better than we experienced with other manufacturers. The guys seem to have adopted these really well. They've been in service for about a month now. We've got a new external charging station because again, these are 24 seven outside use. We thought they wouldn't be possible in this environment, but we put an external charging station in. Everything's um, fully weatherproof. The trucks are really weatherproof. They've got heated cabs and the guys are in a better condition internally in the trucks than they were with our previous trucks that we've just got rid of. I think the diesel price was about eight grand a month we were spending on diesel for our fleet of forklift trucks alone, which is quite a big cost. Whereas now, obviously, with the electric cost, I think we worked it out we'd be spending nowhere near that, possibly even only less than a grand a month on electric charging, which is going on our electricity bill. So a massive saving in terms of energy for running the forklift fleet. Armill was asked by Audi to put in an EP EFL 252 on demonstration. We wanted to prove that the truck would be durable and would work on their loading ramp. After the week-long demonstration, we were asked to carry out some bespoke modifications to their specific requirements, which I'm happy to say resulted in order for 10 machines which now carry out all their external operations as well as some machines which are now being used in their warehouse.